Rod Hansen doesn't believe in taking the easy route. You know, the part that, uh, that came loose in here, and I don't know how to get it. He loves fixing things. Doing this kind of work is always kind of a challenge. Like these donated medical supplies at Lacey's Medical Equipment Bank. Rod makes repairs and turns around the items for someone else to use free of charge. There we go. People are just like, how does this work? And you go ask him and he's got it figured out. He volunteers here every Wednesday. <laughs> if he can, why can't we? But his little shop of miracles is only open one hour a week. Sometimes I take things home where I can have more room and work on it. He's truly at home in his garage. And when he's not repairing wheelchairs. Made about 25,000 so far. He volunteers his talents cutting and drilling handles for hand-powered scooters that end up being used by the disabled in Central America and Africa. Like polio victims or injuries or something like that. You could say Rod was born to serve. His father was in the army in World War I, but Rod was Navy all the way. Volunteering for World War II meant leaving high school early. They didn't even get to go to the prom. <laughs> he went on to get married and teach high school wood shop for decades. Now he's a full-time volunteer working for free, but he thinks helping others helps him stay healthy. I know as soon as I get up and go out and get in the shop and work, I feel 100% better. When I sit in a chair and try to read, I start to doze off and stuff. And, Feel kind of yucky. At 92, he's been told to take it easy, but that's not his style. Well, I come home and take a nap in the afternoon. <laughs> Half hour nap. Is that the secret to your success? That's the secret, right? <laughs>